Hi and welcome to Fun Swedish. Weather. Swedes love to talk about it since it affects our mood, what we do and what we don't do. The weather also affects our way of talking and behaving. I don't know if it's 100% true, but my theory is that this famous breathing in sound that we make in order to say yes here in the Umeå we say uh, exists because it's too cold to talk and say a proper ja. Because saying ja means that you need to open your mouth and breathe in a lot of cold air. The or sound is more common in the north of Sweden, where it's extra cold. But maybe I'm wrong, at least that's my theory. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Today I want to teach you 10 interesting and important weather expressions to know in Swedish. Number one. Titta, the snow är. Every Swede has said this one. And this expression is a great way to get a Swede's attention. The first titta, the snow är, of the year is always magical. This, look, look, snowing. The Swede will get excited when they hear this. They will jump around in a room and maybe even hug you. But when you say the St. March, when the Swede is longing for vår känslor, then you will probably get a more depressive response back. Maybe they say something like Oh no, nu måste jag skotta snö när jag kommer hem. And some might even say Jag vill flytta till Spanien. And talking about snö, now we have come to number two. And that is that we have more than 100 ways to describe different types of snow in Swedish. But I will say that the most important ones to know are these. Slask, blöt snö, Kramsnö, pulversnö och gulsnö. Slask is the worst type of snow. It's kind of this mix of melting snow and dirt. Nobody likes it. Jag hatar slask. Then we have blöt snö, which can be translated to melting snow or wet snow. And for some reason, this doesn't sound as negative as slask. It's more neutral. Then we have kramsnö. Hug snow. This snow is great for making snögubbar or to use when you want to have snöbollskrig. Snowball fights, even though the literal translation is snowball war. Not sure if the kids are allowed to do snöbollskrig nowadays, but I know that when I grew up it was kind of rough with all the snöbollskrig going on in school. Then we have pulversnö, powder snow. This is snow that is perfect for åka skidor. Skiing. Then the last important snow to know about is gul snow, yellow snow. Those who know, they know. Basically, never eat or touch this kind of snow. Then we have come to number three. Different ways and cooler ways to say that it's cold outside. Is kalt, ice cold, so jävla kalt. This can be translated to so devil cold, but basically it's our way to say so damn cold. Skit kalt. Shit cold. Yes, this is also another way to say so damn cold. Svin kallt. Swine cold. Yes, we use this expression svin as a way to say that something is really, really cold. Again, another way of saying so damn cold. Svin kallt. All these expressions are very common ways to complain about how cold it is. However, growing up in Sweden, when you said this, the normal response from your parents or your teachers were Det finns inget dåligt väder, bara dåliga kläder. This is number four, a very important expression to know, which basically means shut up, no excuses, just go out. I'm sure you have heard this already if you live in Sweden. I think it's one of the first things that you are taught in school if you study Swedish. So let's move on. But before we do that, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. By subscribing to our channel, we can make more videos for you. So please subscribe. Number four. Nu går vi mot ljusare tider. This can be translated to something like Now we go towards brighter times. And this is used when the spring is coming and the days get longer and longer. Almost every Swede is kind of obsessed of checking how many more hours of light we get every day. Because 
after a cold dark winter we long so much for the light. So that's why we go out and say nu går vi mot ljusare tider with a smile. And if we don't say this we say number six. Nu är det vår känslor i luften. However, sometimes you feel like you're feeling vår känslor. But then number seven comes into the picture. Bakslag. This can be translated to a punch or a hit in the back. Ett bakslag is when you think that it's getting warmer and warmer. Mm. But all of a sudden, snow comes out from nowhere and it's getting cold again. A second winter that you were not expecting. Just like a punch or a hit in the back. The most common box slug happens in April because that's normally when you don't expect it to snow. April fool, motherfucker. But be prepared, it can snow in April as well. Another similar expression is number eight. Busväder. This can be translated to mischievous weather. Basically, weather that surprises you. A classic boost weather situation is when you're planning to have a picnic with your friends because it's sunny outside. But when you get outside, all of a sudden it starts raining. Ah, oh, boost weather. But it doesn't stop there. When you go home, the sun comes out again. That is the real definition of a boost weather. It's like the weather is playing a prank on you. And talking about playing pranks, now we have come to number nine. Han eller hon är en solvårare. This can be translated to he or she promises you sun and spring. And we use this as a metaphor. Someone tries to sell you sun and spring, but in the end you get snow. And that's not what we want. Solovårare is used a lot when you're talking about dating. A typical solovårare was the Tinder swindler. If you have seen this in Netflix. And then we have come to number 10. And this is a Swedish saying about the weather. Det som göms i snö kommer upp i tö. This expression basically means that the truth will come up in the end. So that was it. If you want to learn more basic phrases about the weather in Swedish, then you should check out our video course for beginners too, where we talk a lot about the weather. Tack för idag! Hej då!